Hi, thanks for joining me on my next video. I just installed a Hunter Apex 2 ceiling fan from Costco that I purchased. I'm not uh, promoting Costco or anything like that or Hunter or any of its brands, but this is just the, um, the fan that I decided to install. It's a good deal. It comes with a remote control. And I've already tested it, and the remote control works from inside my house, which is at least 40 feet away. So it's actually uh, quite has a has a great range. So what I did here is I just uh, I didn't want to lose my uh, design of my gazebo here, which has got the double roof. So I decided to put two uh, two by threes uh, sideways, so that way at least you can still see through the top of my gazebo and I mounted in an electrical box between the two uh, two by threes and that's how I mounted the uh, the ceiling fan actually um, the fan comes with a bracket and what I did is actually screw the bracket into the two by threes I did not screw the bracket into the uh, into the electrical box which uh, it does have the option to allow you to do that but for better support and for strength, I actually screwed the three inch screws that came with the fan into the uh, two by threes. So uh, a lot of people complain that the dimming function does not work with this ceiling fan. Uh, when I first turned on the light and I tried to, uh, to dim, it wasn't working for me either. So a further reading, I realized that what you need to do is you need to enable dimming. And if you look at the remote control, uh, little uh, card that comes with it in order to uh, enable dimming you need to press both the up and down buttons together once you do that then dimming is enabled so to turn the lights on you just press the light button once there you go and now if you want to dim it you just hold the light button and as you can see it's starting to dim it's hard to tell during the day, but uh, maybe I should have shot this video at nighttime. Maybe I'll show you a clip uh, at nighttime as well. So hold the on button, and you can see it's starting to dim off. And now it's dimming back up. So that's what you need to do if you want the dimming to work. The compact, uh, sorry, the LED lights that do come with it are dimmable. At first, I thought maybe the light bulbs themselves were not dimmable. That's why the dimming wasn't working. But uh, anyway, so that's what you need to do, get the dimming working. By default, it's not turned on. Now, the fan is half decent. Um, you know, it's, you're not going to feel like a turbine or anything, but you are going to feel, you are going to feel the breeze that's generated by it. So I'll hold the uh, up button. They call it a long press, and what that's going to do is uh, turn the fan on high speed. So we'll just take a look and see what high speed is here. Too bad this is not four, four dimensions and you won't be able to feel the, uh, the wind that's actually generated by it. But at least you'll get a feel of the speed that the fan is spinning at at high speed. Now people are probably wondering why am I mounting an indoor fan outdoors? Uh, to be honest with you, uh, it is covered by a ceiling. I know it's going to be exposed to the elements in terms of uh, humidity, moisture and what have you. But for $158 Canadian that I paid for this, um, I'm not too concerned. If it lasts five years, I've got my money's worth. If it doesn't, oh well. And I'll just replace it when it does uh, die out. So that's high speed. Most of you are probably thinking it's not that fast. But you know what? I do feel the breeze, and I just want it comfortable. I don't want to be have my stuff blown away from me. But So to me, this is good enough. I do feel a nice, cool breeze. It is a warm day today. Uh, I'm just going to go through the different uh, speed settings. It's, apparently it's got three speed settings for the fan. So now I'm just slowing it down to its, uh, I guess, medium speed. And I'll slow it down to its uh, low speed. So that's low. medium
and back to high. Any questions regarding mounting this or anything, just uh, either direct message me or uh, leave a comment and I'll reply. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.